Alright, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, and Kapodash. Next double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here to forbear. See, when we teach this Bible, we're not here to make you believe, okay? It's up to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yamashai, to make you believe, okay? Our only job is to teach the Word, and that's it, man. Bring out the Scriptures, wrap it up, and let it be what it's going to be. But one thing about these words, they're not going to go out void. Whoever is meant to hear these words and believe and receive it, hey, it's going to happen. Whoever is meant not to get the Word, and get and understand the breakdowns of the scriptures, that's going to happen too. We're going to hop right into it, man, without further ado. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that's who we do the videos for, right? So, so, so we're going, going right in. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. That's who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, right? Ye children of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Y'all are, once again, we sound like a broken record, right? But y'all are the biblical, we are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, right? So once again, Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord is what? This Bible. It's not the Quran. It's not the book of the dead. The Egyptian um, Book of the Dead. It's not the Book of the Mormons. None of that nonsense, man. Okay? It's this Bible right here. This is the Book of the Lord. Right? This is for the for the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. And anytime you got a controversy with someone, you have a problem with them. Matter of fact, we'll, we'll get the word right quick. Just to break down the scriptures a little whole lot better. Controversy. 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 Typically when prolonged, public and heated. Yeah, let's, let's read that again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you children, ye children of Israel. For the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have a controversy. He has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Who's inhabiting the land of America? You people, right? Starting off with you so-called white people, right? So uh, controversy, it's a noun. It means a disagreement. It says, um, and heated, <laughs> look, um, a public and heated disagreement. It says, um, dispute, argument, Contention, altercation, a quarrel. That means you got a problem with somebody. Anytime you got a controversy, a problem, a quarrel with someone, that that um, ends up leading to a fight, right? Right? So the guy in the Bible said he has a controversy with the inhabitants of this land, man. Of the land of America, man. All you people dwelling in the, in the land of America, the guy in the Bible got a problem with you, man. Right? It says, um, because, and look, it's getting ready to tell you why. I guess the guy in the Bible got a problem with all these people just to be having one, right? Nah, man. It's a, it's a reason why the guy in the Bible got a um, controversy with the inhabitants of this land called America, right? It says, because there is no truth. One of the main reasons why the guy in the Bible got a controversy with this place called America is there ain't no truth here, man. See, the, the so-called white man has set up his corporation, a.k.a. his kingdom, a.k.a. his queendom, on lies, man. Ain't no truth here, man, in America. See, the so-called white man, the first lie the so-called white man told was this land was his. You know what I'm saying? The natives, the so-called Native American Indians gave him this land. That was a lie, okay? The so-called white man said he's he's white. That's a lie. When he's really red, he, he look, he, he called himself Caucasian. He called himself white. You are Edomite, man, okay? There's no truth in this land, man, okay? Then he called us black. Then he called it, um, he called our people the Native American Indians. That, that's a lie. Ain't no truth in this land, okay? 
Uh, they said America was founded on um, biblical principles. Th that's a lie, man. Ain't no truth in this land, right? This land is your land. This land is my land. That's a lie, man, okay? This land was given by who you even call God and Jesus Christ to the Native American Indians, man. To the Latino tribes, right? It says, um, look, no, no truth in the land. That's one reason why the God of the Bible got a controversy, a problem, a quarrel, you know what I'm saying, a dispute. And what else? What else? A disagreement with this place called America, right? There's there some, there some heavy definitions right there, man. Contention, debate, argument, dispute. It says no mercy. That there's no mercy here in this land called America either, man. The so-called white man, the Eden whites, according to the Bible, they don't show nobody no mercy. They don't even show their own people no mercy. You see our people, man, getting shot down. Hands up, don't shoot. Oh yeah, I killed him. He looked like a suspect. Oops, oops, my bad. Wrong person. We kicked down the door of, of the wrong person. My bad. He he has um 52 shots in his body. There's, there's no mercy, man, here in America, man. Okay? They give you jobs, you know what I'm saying? Then they pay you pennies. They got you working for pennies. Ain't no mercy here, man. You shit. You get you get caught stealing something here in America. That's thing you know, you get a life, a lifetime sentence, man. You Israelites, right? Ain't no mercy here. The animals don't get no mercy. They locked up in a zoo somewhere. Okay? It says, um, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land. Ain't no knowledge, wisdom, understanding about Yahweh, about Shemel Shah in this land. Except for what we're teaching. Starting off with the apostles. The head apostles of Great Millstone and the elders on down. We're the only ones teaching the truth, according to the Bible. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? The so-called white man ain't pushing the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. John 3, 16. They think, they think that's talking about everybody when it's not, man. When you look up that word, world, you know what I'm saying? What is it? Cosmos. In the Greek. A separate society, a godly arrangement, man. Okay? Ain't no knowledge of your how about Shemel Shah in this land. They're pushing God and Jesus Christ, man. They're pushing a false image, you know what I'm saying? A so-called white dude. You know what I'm saying? That other white meat, you know what I'm saying? So ain't no knowledge of the Most High in this land called America, but then you look at the so-called white man, um, who was it, Ronald Reagan? So, so, um, the Bible is the is the um, the law of the land, okay? Lie, you know what I'm saying? So, so America was uh, founded on biblical principles, man, okay? Ain't no knowledge of the Most High in this land. The scriptures tell you um, homosexuals should be put to death, man, but what do America do? They give them rights, man, okay? The scriptures say don't move the ancient landmarks, but what the so-called white man do? He moved the ancient landmarks, man, of the Native American Indians, man. You know? Once again, they call us black, Latino, Native American Indians. When we're the children of Israel, man. The so-called white man didn't bring that out of who we were. They kept that hidden, man. Okay? So there's no knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. They don't keep none of the high holy days. Okay? They tell us um, Christmas represents our power, man. They got the nerve to say Christmas represents Lord Yahweh Shai, man, who they even call Jesus Christ, man. Tell me his birthday was on December the 25th, which was a lie. Okay? They tell me the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son look like so-called white man. That's a lie. You know? Got us thinking that the so got us thinking all this whole time that the so-called white people are the people of the Bible when there was a lie the whole time, man. Okay? No knowledge, no mercy, no truth in this land called America, man. America was founded on witchcraft anyway, man. America was founded on rape, robbery, and murder, man. So the God of the Bible said, you got a problem with this place. You wonder why the God, got, the God of this Bible got a problem with the inhabitants of America, man? Well, you just heard why, man. That's just some of the reasons, man. That's just scratching the surface, man, right? It says, uh, by swearing, you know what I'm saying, when the scriptures tell you not to swear, but then a so-called white man, he'll, have you, he'll take you to court, right? And then he'll have you swear on the Bible when the scriptures tell you not to swear, okay? The scriptures tell you not to swear, man, on the Bible. But the so-called white man, he'll have you swear on the Bible, man. Ain't no truth, no knowledge, no mercy in this land called America, man. Let me see if I can get that scripture right quick. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. The scriptures tell us to swear not, man. You don't supposed to swear on the Bible, man. When you swear, that's, that's you making an oath, man. Okay? And look, the so-called white man, he have you swear on the Bible, which you don't supposed to do. That's how you know he'll take the Bible, put it behind his back, and that's how you know he'll pull out his own penal codes, man. Okay? Ain't nothing right about that, man. Ain't nothing right about that. Let's see if I can find that right quick. 
Joe's supposed to swear on the Bible, man. This phone's taking all day, but just bear with me. Bear with me. I do, I do, I do want to pull that scripture out right quick. Let's get it. Make you swear on the Bible when you in the scriptures tell you not to swear on the Bible. Then, then what's the first thing the so-called white man say? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but truth? He had you, he had you making an oath, you know what I'm saying, on the Bible, you know what I'm saying, when this whole system was founded on rape, robbery, and murder, man. Okay? Let's see if this is, um, yeah, here, here it is right here. St. Matthews, chapter 5, verse 34. But I say unto you, look, it's, it, let me see, let me get, let me get this, um, let me go right here. Look, red ladder, red ladder, man. It's real letter. This is Lord Yahushai speaking, man. Who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, man. The so-called white man, how you swear on the Bible, right? But what did the Lord say, man? Because we ought to obey the Heavenly Father and the Son rather than man, right? St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 34. But I say unto you, swear not at all. So you don't supposed to put your hand on the Bible and swear just because the so-called white man tell you to swear on it, man. Okay? But the majority of our people don't even know that it's in the Bible. Why? Because ain't no truth in this land called America, man. Number lies, man. You got to celebrate Easter, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's Day, all that nonsense, man. Okay? The so-called white man don't even have you celebrating the high holy days of the Bible. But oh yeah, America was founded on biblical principles, man. That's a damn lie. Once again, Saint, excuse my French. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 34. But I say unto you, Lord Yahweh shall speak in, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? Swear not at all, neither by heaven. For it, for it is Yahweh's throne. Okay, so the scriptures tell us do not swear, man. Okay. Here's another one about swearing, um, about not swearing. Cause when you swear, that's you making an oath now. That you know you ain't gonna be able to keep any damn way. Let's go, wicked ass lawyers. You know what I'm saying? That ain't really fighting for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the whole system of America is is wicked, man. St. James chapter um, 5 verse 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not. Swear not. Swear not. So the guy of the Bible got a controversy with the land of America. Because that's the only thing they do. They swear, man. Got you swearing on the Bible when you only supposed to do it. Swear not. Neither by heaven. Because what people say, man, I swear on my mama. I swear on my daddy. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and all this nonsense, man. When the scriptures tell you, swear not, right? Neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath. Because when you swear, you're making an oath, right? But let your yea, but let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay. Least ye fall into condemnation, man. Okay? So somebody asks you, is you going to do something? Lord's willing. You know what I'm saying? Lord's willing, because you don't know. You can't swear to nobody that you're going to do this, then the third. Nah. So let's, so let's go back. Let's go back to Hosea. Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. By swearing, when we just read that the scriptures say not to swear, right? And lying. America was founded on rape, robbery, murders, and lies, right? And lying. So let's get this right quick. And lying. So the God of the Bible got a problem with America, you know what I'm saying? Because the squares on the Bible. Then, then America was founded on lies. So what did the scriptures say? Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. Woe means death and destruction, right? Woe to the bloody city. What's the bloody city? I wonder what the bloody city is. The bloody city is America, man. Because America was founded on rape, robbery, and murder. How did the so-called white man, the Edomites, according to the Bible, how did they get this land called America, man? By bloodshed, man. So this land is defiled with the blood of our brothers, man, and our sisters. The Native American Indians, man. Those are our brothers and our sisters, man. Right? So the scriptures say, whoa. Whoa to the bloody city. So death and destruction, that's what's coming to America, man. Okay? The city that is all full of lies, right? Look, it is all full of lies. It is all full of lies, man. That's, that's another reason why the God of the Bible got a problem with this place called America, man. You know? Look, and robbery, because how was America, you know what I'm saying, um, gotten? By robbery, by stealing, okay? 
the prey depart of not. Who's the prey? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Y'all depart of not. But every time I turn around, you got a white dude, you know what I'm saying? A so-called white dude, an Edomite. An Edomite coming on the TV or coming on the, um, the YouTube talking about some, if we don't like it here, then we can get the hell out of here. This ain't your land, my nigga. Y'all the real niggas. You so-called white people, y'all are the real black people, okay? Okay? Not us, man. Do I, do I look black to you, man? The, ch the chair is black, man, okay? I'm a different shade of brown, man, all right? And y'all damn sure ain't white, man. Y'all from a, um, a cherry red to a light pink, man. Ain't no truth coming out of the so-called white man mouth. And now, our people love to have it so, too, man, pursuant to Isaiah, the 30th chapter, 9 and 10, you know? Our people don't want us to teach the truth according to the Bible. Why? Because they in love with lies, man. Because that's what America was founded on, lies. So once again, Nahum chapter 3, verse 2, verse 1, Salakia. Woe to the bloody city, which is America. Death and destruction to America, that bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey depart of not. So the guy of the Bible got a problem with America, first and foremost, because of the swearing that they do. You know what I'm saying? And the lying. What else, Lord? Hey, look, and killing. The God of the Bible got a, you know what I'm saying, um, a controversy, man, a problem. Let's go back to that word controversy, man. I'm going to bring that up again. The God of the Bible, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, got a problem with the inhabitants of the land, man. You know what I'm saying? By swearing, by lying, and look, and now killing. How did the so-called white man get this land? By killing the Native American Indians, man. Okay? Let's get that was I had um yeah let me go back to the to that definition. Bear with me. Bear with me. Controversy. Controversy. So the guy, once again, the definition for the word controversy means a disagreement. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, dispute, or argument, uh, contention, look, um, a disputation, an altercation, a quarrel. Look, look, well, here's um, some of the synonyms right here. War of words. That's why you see us out there week in and week out starting off with our head apostles and the elders on down. Giving America hell, man. The scriptures tell you, um, lift up a standard, lift, lift up a banner, you know what I'm saying? On the high mountains, you know what I'm saying? And that banner is what? The banner is what? This Bible right here, man. We, we out there week in and week out uh, blowing that trumpet, man. Crying aloud, sparing not. Lifting up our voice like trumpets, man. Okay? Uh, look, it's, it's a, uh, the scriptures say, woe um, to, uh, to, to these Edomites, just roughly paraphrasing, you know? Yeah, the most I got a problem with this place called America, man. A controversy, as the scriptures have said, by lying, stealing. Look, 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 lying. And let me, let me, get, let me get this right quick, because the most I hate of all liars, man. Plus, plus the scriptures say the most I is going to put all lying lips to, um... To death, man. To shame. Let's get this right quick. Most I got a problem with this place called America, man. This is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. These six things doeth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. An abomination is a wicked, filthy act, right? A proud look. A lying tongue. The most I hated lying tongues, man. And what, how was America founded? Of robbery, um, lies. You know what I'm saying? Killing. The most I say, he hate of all liars, man. Right? And look, um, a lying tongue. This land is your land. This land is my land, right? The Native American Indians gave you so-called white people the land, right? That's a damn lie, man. Okay? Look, we black. We Latino. We Native American Indians. That's a damn lie, man. We the children of Israel. We was the children of Israel the whole time, man. They stole our nationality. You know what I'm saying? And then they said they was the Jews, man. They said they was the Israelites, man. They said they was the children of the Lord, man. All lies, man. All lies. A proud look. And who's the most proudfulest person on the face of the earth, you so-called white people? Then you can throw two-thirds of any heathens in there too, man. A lying tongue. These are some of the things that the Most High hates. But I thought he was all about love, though, right? 
Y'all lied about that. Y'all said the God of the Bible was all about love. Y'all lied about that. It says, um, and hands that shed innocent blood. You know what I'm saying? Hands that shed innocent blood. The Native American Indians weren't doing a damn thing to you so-called white people. They was chilling. You know what I'm saying? But y'all want nothing but criminals anyway. The so-called found, so founding fathers, you, you Edomites, you so-called founding fathers, want nothing but murderers, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Won't nothing but um, criminals, man. The truth is out the bag now, man. You so-called white people, y'all the biggest criminals on the face of the earth. Now the guy of the Bible got a problem with you. He always had a problem with you, man. Okay? Then he got a bigger problem with you, man. You put your hand on the children of Israel, man. Got a lot to pay for, man. Look, and, and hands that shed innocent blood, man. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. So let's go back. Hosea chapter 4. Um... Two again, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing. How was this land guy? How was this land guy? By the so-called white man, the Edomites, stole this land. And then he stole it, um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi and brought them over here. You know what I'm saying? And I got, and I got a scripture for that. If you so-called white people, you Edomites, only knew how much hell y'all get ready to pay, man. Y'all gonna wish y'all were never born soon come, man. Y'all gonna wish y'all were dead already, man. Soon come, man. This is Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man. And, and they were stealing the Native American Indians and the Latinos and taking them back where they got us from, man. They was taking them back east, man. Okay? So what the scripture say again? Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man. It's the so-called white man. He's so proud. He took pictures of him stealing us, man. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He took pictures of it, man. That dude very prideful, man. But what this should say, pride goes before destruction, man. Okay? Look, look. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, so-called white, and the God of the Bible said, you know what I'm saying, he has a controversy with this land because of the stealing, the killing, the robbery, you know what I'm saying, the swearing, and, and you sold us too, you know what I'm saying? And sell it for man that sold us on the auction of blocks, right? Or if he be found in his hand, we, it's 2018, we're still in captivity up under the so-called white man, right? The Edomites, according to the Bible, right? He shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death, man. That's what the Bible said, okay? That's what the Bible said, right? It says, um, and committed for adultery. You know what I'm saying? That's all America promote, man. Every rapper, every R&B star, all on TV, you know what I'm saying? All they promote, you know what I'm saying? And these pastors too, man. These church pastors, only thing they be promoting is messing with the next man's woman too, man. Okay? Only thing, and adultery is what? A woman has a man, you know what I'm saying? And she goes and sleeps with another man. Or a man knows that a woman has a man, and that's saying no, he goes sleep with her. That's adultery, man. Okay? So-called white man been having our people make songs about that adultery thing for a long time. Mrs. Jones and all that. That was about a dude committing adultery with a woman. You know? So, those are some of the reasons why the God of the Bible got a controversy, a.k.a. a problem with the inhabitants of this land, man. You know? Ain't no truth in this land, man. And hey, look. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So, we don't expect nothing less from this devil. This devil is doing exactly what we knew he was going to do. You see? He was created to be the wicked. So if for him to all of a sudden set up his kingdom in righteousness, that would be an oxymoron right there, man. So this devil is doing exactly what he was created to do, man. You know what I'm saying? He's teaching us very well on what not to do and how not to rule a kingdom, man. Okay? That's what the so-called white man has taught us. It says, um, and committing adultery, yea. I still like it. They break out and blood touches blood. So the God, so you, so you're wondering why the God of the Bible got a problem with America. You wonder why the God of the Bible is burning this place that the hell down. You know what I'm saying with these forest fires. You wonder why the God of the Bible is flooding the hell out of this place with these different tsunamis and these different storms. I'm reading why. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading why, man. Okay. Cause this land was found on rape, robbery, murder, and lies, man. That's why, man. Okay? And the prey departed not, man. The, look, just like Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? This is modern day Egypt. You know what I'm saying? It's going, it's running just like ancient Egypt. Pharaoh wouldn't let the Hebrew Israelites go. The Edomites, so-called white people, they're not trying to let us go either, man. 
So the God of the Bible got to come and put that smack down on him, man. And look, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I got one more, though, and then I'll wrap it up. I got one more, man. And I'm going to wrap it up. This is Micah chapter 2. We'll start at 1. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Well, look, here we go again. Whoa, right? The scripture starts off with whoa. The scripture starts off with death and destruction. So you eat of mice, right? Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing the so-called white man is promoting is wickedness, man. Okay? He devised iniquity, man. Right? Look, and work evil upon their beds. The CDC, the Center for Disease Control. You know what I'm saying? When the so-called white man get ready to lay down, he thinking of something wicked to do when he get up out of his bed, man. You know? That's why they got them different labs, man. You know what I'm saying? Where they creating more diseases, you know what I'm saying? They creating more biological warfare. You know what I'm saying? You know, spraying chemtrails in the air, fluoride in the water. They creating GMO foods. You know what I'm saying? They straight up always devising iniquity, man. You know what I'm saying? They devise iniquity, man. Wickedness, man. Because why? And look, we don't expect nothing less from this devil, man. Just remember that. This is what this devil was created to do. Be wicked, man. It says, um, and work evil upon their beds. Like that dude that created e um, AIDS. That so that Edomite, that so-called white man that created AIDS, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and then, you know what I'm saying, the, um, the black plague that killed us off during the dark ages. The so-called white man went back over there, you know what I'm saying? Where we used to live over there in Europe, man. And when he um, found the black plague, man, then he got it in, the, um, in one of his labs, man. Okay? And he's going to unleash it, man. He's going to unleash it real soon. And work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. They, 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 they start working their work, right? They start, they start seeing, I'm going to do this right here, and I'm going to see how it affects the people, man. Okay? Whatever diseases, you know what I'm saying, whatever they conjuring up, they practice it when, when, it's, when it's light time, when it's daytime and nighttime, man. You know what I'm saying? All throughout the day. It says, um, because it is in the power of their hand. Why is it in the power of their hand? Why? Because the earth was given it to them, man, to rule. Let's get this right quick. It was given the rulership of the earth. We're going to prove that right quick. This is Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And you eat on mice, you so-called white people, y'all are the wicked, according to the Bible, right? So that's why, that's why you got the power to do whatever you want to do in wickedness right about now. Because the earth was given into you for a small point of time, man. You know what I'm saying? The God of the Bible gave y'all the rulership of the planet of the earth. Y'all didn't, y'all weren't big and bad to where y'all took it on y'all own, man. Nah, man. The God of the Bible, you have by Chanel shot, gave y'all rulership of the planet of the earth, man. I'm reading it right now. Let me read it one more time. Nice and slow. Job. Job. Chapter 9. Verse 24. The earth, because you have Bashim al Shah, you're able to call God and Jesus Christ, they control everything, man. Okay? They control everything, man. You can read about that. Man, many scriptures, man. Romans um, 9 is one. You know what I'm saying? He, he gave the kingdom to Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? To, sh to show his power, man. You know, the God of the Bible gave the basis of men to control of the earth right about them, man. That's how bad the God of the Bible is, right? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? If not, where? And who is he, man? If the so-called white man, a.k.a. the Edomites, if they're not the Edomites, if they're not the wicked, according to the Bible, then tell us who is, man, okay? Tell us who's ruling the earth and wickedness right about now, man. Who's making the policies that all these other countries got to follow behind, man? You, you tell me who, man, okay? Who took down the image of... Um, yeah, how about Shemya Rashad, who they even call God and Jesus Christ, and painting them white, man. I don't see no Chinese Jesus, so-called Jesus Christ, or no Arab, so-called Jesus Christ. Hell, I don't even, even see um, a dude eating African, so-called Jesus Christ, man, or no Hawaiian Jesus Christ. All I, I see I see a so-called white window, you know what I'm saying? I see a so-called white window, okay? So the earth was given it to them, man. That's why the scriptures say what? Going right back to Micah, Micah chapter 2, down in the um, bottom of verse 1. It says, uh, when the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. It's in the power of their hand. Why? Because they're ruling the earth right about now, man. That's why they can throw chemtrails up in the air and nobody.
nobody don't do nothing to them. That's why they can shoot you Negroes, Latinos, and they don't make it the hell down and don't nothing happen, man. They get a paid vacation for shooting you niggas down, man. A paid vacation. The so-called white man get a paid vacation to shoot you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians down. They took the Latinos and, um, and they took the Native American Indians and put them on reservations, aka concentration camps, and then they took the Latinos, you know what I'm saying, and, and built up a wall and called them immigrants, man, and told them they couldn't even be in this land no more. When this is their land, man. Why? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. Look, for a short period of time, man. So, so that's why they can practice all this wickedness, man, because they ruling right about them. It says, uh, verse 2, Micah chapter 2, verse 2, they covered fields and take them by violence. The God of the Bible got a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. This land was taken by violence, man. They killed over um, 100 million, the so-called white man, the Edomites, according to the Bible, they killed over 100 million Native American Indians, man. Can you, can you dig that? You know what I'm saying? You so-called white people, y'all killed over 100 million Native American Indians, man. That's your history, man, okay? That's your history, man. They covered fields, right? And take them by violence, man. That's how they get the land of America, man. By violence, man. And look, y'all got to pay for that, man. It says, um, in houses, and take them away. And, um, and take them away. So look, so they oppress a man and his house. Even a man and his heritage. Man, they stole our heritage. They oppress a man and his household. They don't let the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans rule over their own house, man. You try to, you know what I'm saying, rule your house in righteousness, become a so-called white man telling you you can't rule your house the way you want to, man. You devil's going to get up out of power soon, come, man. Okay? And y'all going head first into captivity, man. And Lord willing, I'm one of those men, man. The whole field elect, man. To be one of the first ones to put chains on you, red devil, man. Along with um, Lord Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, first and foremost. The 12, you know what I'm saying? The 12 um, apostles, you know what I'm saying? And then the rest of the men of the Lord. Lord willing, I'm part of that number to put chains, heavy chains, on you, red devils, man. You Edomites, man. According to the Bible, man. Okay? Y'all oppress a man and his heritage, man. Hell, y'all stole our heritage from us, man. You know what I'm saying? Can't get no wickeder than that. Stole our heritage. Started calling y'all us. You know what I'm saying? Boy, you devil got a lot to pay for, man. Be that nationality out of us, man. They called us black. Latino, Native American. Y'all gonna pay for all that, man. You know? Mm -mm -mm. Verse 3, therefore, Micah chapter 2, verse 3, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashanel Rashad, behold, against this family, you Edomites, the wicked, according to the Bible, against this family do I devise evil. Meaning, God of the Bible, God, that's why bad times, right? That's what they're so called white people, you Edomites, that's what you're experiencing right about now, right? Bad times, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, ain't really have too many kids this year. You know what I'm saying? Or last year, man. You know? The God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying? What did he say again? What did the Lord, what did the Most High say? One more time, man. For you Edomites, behold, against this family, you so-called white people, do I devise an evil, man. Okay? Let's get that word devise right quick. Let's get that word devise. I want to get that right quick, man. Devise. Devise. Here's the definition of devise. Plan or invent a complex procedure, system, or mechanism. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yahweh Vashem, Yahweh Shai. The God of the Bible, you know what I'm saying, is planning something for you devils, man. What did the Lord say again? Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Vashem, Yahweh Shai, behold, against this family, I do devise an evil. The God of the Bible got evil planned for you. Got bad times planned for you, man. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Work out. Formulate. The God of the Bible got something. The God of the Bible's in the kitchen cooking, man. Create. He's creating evil, creating bad times for you so-called white people, man. The God of the Bible is creating bad times for you devils, man. Straight up, man. Produce. Develop. Hatch. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, have 
wrestle. You devil's in trouble, man. If y'all only knew, the guy of the Bible got something. He's in the kitchen cooking, man. Think up. Dream up. Work up. Mm -hmm. Oh, have mercy. Look, by careful thought. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. You have by Shimon Shah's gonna pull all the tricks out the bag on you devils, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to bring out that right quick, man. These devils gonna have to pay, man, for all the lying, the stealing, the killing, the swearing, man. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. You have by Shimon Shah said, I got something planned. I'm devising an evil for this family, man. So, you look, look, you, you get what you deserve, man, okay? You getting, you gonna get what you deserve, my man. You so-called white people, you elites, you Rothschilds, you Gators, you Bloombergs, and these peon crackers, you're going to get exactly what you deserve, my man. You know? Lord willing, brothers are edified once again, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, just hold on. Just hold on. I tell myself that every day. Just hold on, man. The God of the Bible got something cooking, man. Part of that fire, you know what I'm saying, coming through Paradise, California, that's part of the cooking right there, man. Okay? Right? Those floods over here in the Carolinas. You know what I'm saying? Them different storms, we ain't seen nothing yet, man. The God of the Bible got something cooking up for you crackers, man. And two-thirds and the rest of you heathens, man, dwelling over here in the land of call America, man. But I ain't gonna be the dead horse, man. Lord willing, once again, brothers will edify, you know, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapadash. Next double honors to the head apostles. And elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out. Regardless of people here for a bear, man. Okay? The guy of the Bible got something cooking for you crackers, man. He's in the kitchen right now. Get ready. Gra look, grab your plate now. Shalom.